Hello everyone! So it has been a very long time since I've talked about manga on this channel. I haven't done a manga video in over a year, and that is kind of insane to me, so I really need to rectify that today. And I'm going to start by talking about a brand new series that just came out, um, I believe last month in March, if I'm not mistaken. And that series is Shuriken and Pleats by Matsuri Hino. This is her new manga series that literally just came out. I'm not sure when it was first serialized in Japan. Uh, last year, 2015. So she just started this series. Which makes sense because I believe the last volume of Vampire Night came out last year. So that is really cool that she's still writing. I'm very, very, very happy about that. Matsuri Hino has a very special place in my heart because she's the first mangaka that I ever bought any manga from ever, so she is very nostalgic for me in that sense. Because Vampire Night is the first manga series I ever bought, so I am very, very happy to support her in her new series. This series is about a ninja named Mikage Kyrio, and she is a, um, a protector of sorts. She protects this man who is a noble, um, who is very, very rich. He has a lot of people that want to see him dead, so she has to be his protection. And he basically kind of takes the role as her father, because her father is also a very powerful man, but he controls this kind of ninja clan in a way, and he's very, very distant. He doesn't really talk to her a lot at all, and so this man that she takes care of, here's a picture of the man, by the way. I forgot what his name was. I'll have to check that in a second. His name is Mr. Rod, and he is a very powerful man in the city, and he has a lot of people that are taking um, attempts at his life, and Mikage is there to protect him, which is a very refreshing character for Matsuhino to write, because usually she writes characters that aren't necessarily very powerful in a way, and this is just a very different take on a ninja storyline, and I like that she is more, um, she can take care of herself, she's strong, she's fast, she's a really, really good ninja, and I really like that her character is very powerful in this series. And as you can tell from the art, it does look a lot like, um, the main character from Vampire Night. She does look a lot like Yuki Cross, however, she's not at all like Yuki Cross. Here's another picture of her. It's kind of hard to see. I can't get that angle very well, but there you go. One of my favorite pictures of her is actually on the back. I love those cat eyes. Oh my gosh, she looks so fierce in that picture. And this series so far is really intriguing. I really do like it. Um, if you're a fan of Matsuri Hino's work, I would definitely recommend it. I need to read her older stuff because I haven't read any of her older stuff yet, and I want to read Captive Hearts and um, the other one, Mary Perry, I really want to read that. I've been wanting to read that for years. I'm not sure how long this series will be, but I can tell that it's going to be kind of short because the end of this volume kind of left it on a very, like, it seemed like an ending, so I'm not sure where the story is going to take place after this. It, it didn't, it didn't seem like that much of an ending, but it kind of did. I don't know, it's hard to explain without spoiling anything. It does kind of remind me of Vampire Night in a sense. There is a love triangle kind of surfacing, I think. Um, it might not come of, come of fruition, but it seems like it will, but I'm not sure. I, again, fell in love with the nin... Not, I don't know if he's a ninja, but he's one of the people that she ends up protecting, and I do like his character. The other character is the one that she's actually in love with, I'm not too keen on. He kind of reminds me of Honey Senpai from um, Oran High School Host Flip, so that's a very, very different character for me to kind of envision a couple with. I don't know. It's, it's fine, but it's just he's too cutesy for me, and I kind of like my boys to be bad boys and very, very sexy and ominous. So, yeah, that's just me personally. But definitely, if you're a fan of Matsuri Hino's work, I would highly recommend this series so far. I can't wait to see where it goes. I'm definitely, definitely excited for Volume 2. I can't wait to see what happens. So yeah, if you've read this, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Um, I'm really excited to see where it goes. And just let me know what kind of manga you've been reading lately. I've been reading a lot of shoujo, finally, again. So I'm getting back into the shoujo kick. Happy to be doing reviews again, because I really need to start doing reviews, because I really do like doing them. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Stay sexy!